fine plane. So we have a block mass m resting on a smooth inclined plane and the inclined plane is given an acceleration a. So first of all what I would seek to do here is as the problem says find the minimum value of a find the minimum value of a so that m falls vertically downwards so that m falls vertically downwards that is what we need to be doing here. So what we do is we find a value of a for which the net acceleration of m is g downwards. Realize that the inclined plane has an acceleration a to the left whose component along the common normal direction is a sin theta, right? And this particle of mass m, this block of mass m has an acceleration g sin theta parallel to the plane and perpendicular to the plane it must share a common acceleration with the wedge a sin theta yes or no a sin theta which is the acceleration of the inclined plane perpendicular to its sloping surface must also be the acceleration of the mass m perpendicular to the common surface that's a that's a wedge constraint and in addition it has g sin theta like this g sin theta like this and what we need is a value of a for which the resultant of a sin theta and g sin theta is g right now what's that supposed to be very clearly you can see a sin theta is perpendicular to g sin theta so we have like a a square plus g square sin square theta that means this square plus this square equal to g square this value of a this value of a will cause m to fall vertically downwards will cause m to fall vertically downwards have a net acceleration g right vertically downwards with an acceleration g with an acceleration g that is freely downwards so then we have like a a square plus g square is g square cos x square theta or a square is g square into cos x square theta minus 1 cos x square theta minus 1 is cot theta so g square cot square theta which gives us a equal to g cot theta so this for this value of a this this block would have a downward acceleration g will fall vertically downwards freely will fall freely under gravity and very clearly if I have a value of a larger than g cot theta then of course it will fall freely the greater the value of a the greater is the prospect that small m falls vertically downwards yes or no so the smallest value of a for which this will fall vertically downwards is g cot theta any value of a larger than g cot theta it will certainly fall downwards freely it will fall freely under gravity thank you so much bye